For sun-like stars in the main sequence that are either more or less massive than the sun, the prospect of life on planets around those stars is a trade-off between the size of the habitable zone and the number of planets it might contain and the lifetime of the star. The highest mass main sequence stars, O and B stars, respectively a million and a thousand times the luminosity of the sun, have lifetimes that are about one million and fifty million years. Far too little, we think, for complex life to develop before the stars go supernova. A stars and F stars, forming one and two percent of all main sequence stars respectively, with twenty and seven times the luminosity of the sun, live for a billion years in the case of A stars and two billion years in the case of F stars. Even for F stars, two billion years would only correspond to the time that it took to get multi-celled organisms on Earth. Then the star would die. So it seems that lower mass stars are the best possibilities. K stars, 15% of all main sequence stars, and a third the luminosity of the sun, have main sequence lifetimes 20 billion years. And the ubiquitous M stars, 75% of all main sequence stars, with only 0.3% of the luminosity of the sun, have main sequence lifetimes of hundreds of billions of years. However, their habitable zones are incredibly small. So the possibility of a planet existing at the right distance from such low luminosity stars is also small.